Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you uh, clicking on the video. Hey, I wanted to uh, bring up a uh, topic today, and that is uh, knowing who you follow on YouTube. But with that being said, I know that YouTubers only put out content that they want their viewers to see. So if you are following somebody and got familiar with them and they do something that you think is unethical or just not the way you live your life, do you still follow that person? Do you, wow, that was close. Do you, and I, my eyes are straight on the road. Do you still follow that person? Me, no, I, I don't. But you, you never truly know the person that you're, that you're following. You can get some idea of what kind of character they have by their videos, but you truly don't know what that person's lifestyle is like uh, when the camera's turned off. So I, I'll give you an example. Two examples. Uh, Lake Fort guy. You know, or you have a very, very strong feeling that LFG and his wife are legit people. They're good, honest, hardworking, God-fearing Americans. And then you've got someone that's on the total opposite side that you got someone that is money hungry. And I believe that's all this person cares about. And there's more to it than that. There's more to being on YouTube, making money. But man, people still follow this guy. I, I mean, he, he's got close to 2 million subscribers, pumping out content left and right. Not many fishing videos at, at all. And um, so man, I've been watching this guy for like I say, a year, year and a half. And recently, not so much. Actually, I haven't watched any of his videos in, um, in probably three or four weeks now. I haven't unsubscribed to his channel because the guy can be funny. Uh, and he puts out some good content. But I'm hoping he's just going through something in his life right now and realize some of the things he's doing isn't so cool to some people out there. So... I just think that a lot of these YouTubers, content creators, whatever you want to call us, a lot of people will put trash out there. I'll give you an example. A good friend of mine sent me a link to a YouTube video, and it was a guy singing country songs but turning them into dirty country songs. I listened to one of them, and it was funny, but just not the kind of stuff I like to listen to at all. At all. So, my first question, and, and put, put something in the comments, guys. Do you care? Let me back up. If someone makes you laugh, and you enjoy their content, and you know this person or these people are doing unethical things, in your mind they're unethical. It, it might be perfectly fine what they're doing to some people. Do you still follow them people? Or do you unsubscribe from the channel and go about your business? Or do you do like I did? I did not unsubscribe to this person's channel because I do like the guy. I don't think he realized right now 
maybe he does realize what, what he's doing. It is uh, off-colored, off-taste. Uh, it's just some of the things not right uh, that he's doing in his life. So do you unfollow him? Do you not watch their videos, maybe hoping they're going through some difficult times in their life? Do you still support the people? Or, or what do you guys do? For me right now, I'm just not watching some videos. I have not unsubscribed to the guy because I do know that's how he makes his money, but he really makes his money, I think, off of view time, not really how many subscribers he has. So guys, let me know what you think. Let, let me know what you guys do. do what, what do you do here? Uh, what do you think the right thing is? And uh, uh, get back with me, and I'll do a follow-up video to uh, some of the comments. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. And hey, I promise you guys, I've got some fishing video coming. We lost a ton of content. Uh, uh, Lake Chickamauga. Uh, we was up on Watts Bar Dam and Wadawi three good fishing trips to the lakes. I had the wife with me. She surprised me with a, uh, a trip the day after Thanksgiving to uh, uh, Watts Bar. First time I've ever been up there. It was cold though, man. It was really, really cold. And uh, uh, if you guys get a chance, go over to uh, uh, Patriot Custom Baits um, uh, Instagram website. I think he's got an app now that you can download. Just look at his things, man. He's still working on his um, his uh, store, his website, rather. Uh, but he's got a lot of good stuff up there, man. If you want a shaky head with an eight all hook in it, he can make it for you. He, off the wall, any kind of jigs, man, that you can think of. If you want to design something and send him, uh, uh, Matthew Elliott, uh, Patriot Custom Bait Company. Y'all guys look him up. Thanks.